It's October 5th, 2020. I'm Todd Dunn. And today I'm at the Great Harbor Marina in Southwest Harbor because it's haul out day for Tortuga. I'm supposed to be over at the ramp in about 45 minutes to load the boat on the trailer and get her out of the water for the 2020 season. It's been a short season. The boat's been in the water just about three months. So anyway, well, let's take a look at the boat just before haul out. Well, there she is. Had a lot of rain yesterday and dew this morning, so she's pretty wet. But other than that, everything looks okay. I just have one more thing to do before I take the boat off the dock and head over to Manset, to the town dock where the boat will be hauled out. And that's about a oh, five minute run, so I'm in no hurry to get going. So let's walk over, take a little closer look at Tortuga, maybe from a bow on angle. Well, here we are looking at her from the bow. And I'll get my sort of classic straight on the bow shot. Here, there we go. Classic motor yacht cruising ends for 2020 today. Uh, a little while ago, I spent some time pumping the dinghy out because it had quite a bit of rainwater in it and putting the outboard on it so that I could go out after Tortuga's out of the water and get aboard the sailboat and bring it into the dock where it will stay for about two weeks before we haul it out for the season. It's about 11.40 now and as you can see Tortuga is out of the water. I didn't actually film any of the actual haul out because I'm actively involved in that and really don't have a free hand to uh, run a camera. Plus, the uh, hauler's not keen on me filming him working. So, uh, here's the boat just getting ready to be backed into the shed for the winter. Well, here's Tortuga in the shed. I'll just pan back. I've been having a little trouble getting the camera to focus in the low light in this shed, but so there she is ready to go for the winter. I have winterized all the systems. Uh, all the batteries and everything are now disconnected. And I opened all the seacocks so any water that was in them could drain out rather than freeze in the body of the seacock. I just finished sounding the hull from the water line up and I found two punky spots. I got about maybe three feet of planking to replace on the top sides. Okay, I'm going to bring some lights in and sound the hull from the water line down to determine any work that I need to do on the planking below the water line. So, anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed seeing the end of the 2020 season for my 1936 wooden powerboat, Tortuga. Thanks again for watching.